What up, guys? Welcome to another podcast, Talking Nasty with Ricky. What's up, Nasty? Everything good, man. What's up, kid? How was your weekend? Weekend was it was good, you know. Spent with the family. You know, I'm a family guy. Uh, let's talk about Friday night. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> it didn't look like you were doing, <laughs> doing the family thing Friday night. <laughs> oh, damn. That's right. I was at the H. Orlando uh, acting up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, acting up a little bit. That's okay. No, it was I a saw good time. <laughs> Fist pumping. Yeah. Oh. That, that was, was good. a good vibe, man. Shout out to the H. Good, good, good. Uh, what did I do this weekend? I had a crazy experience. Saturday <laughs> night. Um, Two attractive girls come up to me, right? Mm -hmm. I never seen them before in my life. Right. Um, and a friend of mine had got set up in a situation, and it kind of made me think, like, is this really happening? So they're really, really nice, mm -hmm. and then they're adamant about buying me a drink. What do you drink? I'm like, oh, you know, vodka water. I'm like, that's weird. You drink vodka? <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, I'm a weird drink, but okay. I'm gonna get you a drink. I'm gonna get you a drink, and I'm like, I don't even know these girls. Right? Mm -hmm. And I, I'm like, no, no, I'm good. I just got a brand new. No, 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 no. I'm gonna get you one. And they're being real nice and, you know, doing all that. And I'm I'm like, yo, this is extra. Like, I don't even know these girls. And they, I feel like they kind of target me. <laughs> they put a roofie Yeah. <laughs> like, I genuinely, <laughs> so my man's sitting down. And I was like, yo, you know them? He's like, yeah, those are my homegirls. I said, how long you know them? So I met them yesterday. I said, what? <laughs> Yo, girls. Um, I said the girl keeps, for whatever reason, wanting to buy me a drink. Uh, hello. <laughs> so I told her no. She disappears. She disappears mm -hmm. and comes back with a drink. And I, was, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. You took it. You took it back to the end. No. So when she comes back and gives me the drink, I said vodka water, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if you know what vodka is, vodka is clear. Yeah. Obviously, water is clear. <laughs> yeah. I, I, a little I swear to God on my kids, this shit with a little yellow flavor to really? it. Really? Yeah. Wow. Mind you, I had never Crazy. seen these. I don't know if they were from out of town or whatever. Wow. And I tell my man, I said, yo, bro, this, this, I grabbed the cup. And I'm like, this is, uh, this is supposed to be vodka water. Wow. Why is this shit yellow? This girl keep being adamant about giving me a drink. That's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Swear to God, the God's honest truth. Dang, that's crazy. God's honest truth. Anyway, so after I drank the drink, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I want them. Yeah. No, so I ended up throwing the drink out, and I tell my man, like, bro, you you talking about these are your homegirls? You just met them yesterday. Be careful, bro. Yeah. Be careful. Mind you, For never real. seen them again. Wow. Disappeared. Like you, I've never had that situation ever happen. That's and you crazy. Know, it, a friend of mine. It happened to a friend of mine, and you know. Thankfully, oh, yeah. he was okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But uh, to start that off, ladies, be careful. <laughs> ladies? Uh, what do you mean? No. They, well, ladies. They the ones doing it. Well, <laughs> the, yeah, but there's fellas out be there. Be careful. The you won't thing. get caught. Yeah. <laughs> Men and women, be careful yeah, uh, when you're out there downtown. Anyway, so what's up going on this week? Uh, a lot of talk about Dave Chappelle. You told me to watch it. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I ain't gonna front. It was good. Yeah. It was good because the way he set everything up was very, you know, he treaded lightly, but he got his point across. You got know what it. I'm saying? Um, he did uh, say he wanted to help the baby out because he said the baby put his foot in his mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah, he definitely did that. <laughs> what was uh, one of the parts that really stuck out to you? Uh, and, and without giving any information out, um, <laughs> like you, you saw it and was like, man, damn, he nailed it. Because you're obviously a black mm -hmm. Latino, yeah. You experienced some of the things that he, you know they that he was talking about. Yeah. Is there anything that kind of hit home while you were watching the show? Yeah, but I want to plead the fifth on this because <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to ruffle nobody's feathers. I, I mean, you <laughs> just you could say that you understood what no, he was saying. Yeah. I mean, I understood what he was saying as far as, you know, when it comes to um, transgender, you know what I'm saying? They express themselves for going through a tough period of time for a long time. And then he would come in with the smoothness and say, Negroes and black people have been going through this for hundreds of years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, damn. He did say he put it that way. He, he did say he, so. He, he said, wasn't you mad. know, yeah. the sensitivity 
has to be, you know, he's, he's saying that, you know. Let's spit it out. Don't worry. We have <laughs> <laughs> Boy, Mike is tongue right now. He don't, he's scared. <laughs> now I'm big old comfort. He can cancel that after he make it out. Yeah. I ain't trying to be canceled, so I'm going to keep my comment to myself. He did, he did. One of the things that stood out was he just said, um, you know, I'm not mad. I'm just, the way their movement is moving so fast, I commend them on it. Right. You know, he mm -hmm. said, you know, they've been going through this for the last 15 years. Yeah. Um, and we've been going through this for hundreds and hundreds of years. Yeah, well, and no, no, we were going through <laughs> You know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. He said. So, at that point, I totally felt what he's saying. So, when you get a chance, uh, definitely check out uh, Dave Chappelle's... Yeah. Uh, what's the name of it? Um, It's called... You can find it. Yeah. You, you'll find it. Whatever the hell it's called. You'll find it on, on Netflix. Oh, you'll yeah, find it. Yeah. Uh, they tried to cancel it because of all the transgender yeah. jokes and stuff like that. And Netflix said... It ain't going nowhere. Yeah, <laughs> nah, nah, the CEO spoke today and said, yeah. like, it's one of the, Dave Chappelle's stand-ups. The last one he did prior to this one was one of their most watched stand-ups on Netflix. So, you know, and, and, you know, they said they support the freedom of speech and comics being creative in what they do. Which, you know, back in the days, bro, the comics used to... Oh, yeah. Been been, yeah. <laughs> like this All ain't out. nothing. Yeah. Times have changed. Times have changed. Yeah. You times have changed. You can't say nothing no more. So how do you go out to enjoy a, a comic and yeah, <laughs> you, know, you, you got to tell like, hey, you can't talk about this. You can't talk about that. You can't talk about it. So, you know. <clears throat> it's changing so much that we're now to the point where um, it's starting to trickle down for our kids to see it because yeah. you got a whole new Superman comic book coming oh, out yeah. mm -hmm. and the comic book uh superman's son is going to be i don't know if it was bisexual or is he gay is this his son or is it superman that no it's his son oh really? his son. i think his son's name is jonathan oh. clark kent or something like that so his son is in a relationship with another man wow i never knew the comics got down like that yeah <laughs> You buy the comic book? <laughs> hey man, I'm all for it. Yeah, I bet you all know why the camera's rolling. Huh? <laughs> you get three pages, three copies. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I, to me, it's the only thing I don't understand is like, why change it? Why change it? What? Why change? You know, Superman. He had to. Nah, he had to. Nah, girl, but like, I, why, why I hear it? that that's been going on for years. I must have been around the loop because yeah. I haven't seen the Superman comic book. This is the first one I know of. So. Were you a, a deep nah. Marvel or DC? Uh -uh. All right. Well, well so, I, yeah. I heard somebody talking about it, said that that's that's happened before. You know what I'm saying? During the comic series. Hey, listen. Whatever. I, I, I don't understand it. I'm not saying I'm against it. Mm -hmm. I want to be very clear. I just didn't understand why I do something like that. Like. Yeah, they, you know, hey, it's a new world, Rico. Yeah, get I, with I, it. I, I, get the fuck out, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, what else are we talking about? Um, a conversation that you didn't want to have, but I'm going to have it since the tapes are rolling. Um, Gloria Velez and Remy Ma have been trending. Oh, here you go. <laughs> and we know your TS. I see when that. I walk out of the building. You know, I, it's just a you. quick conversation. Did you hear about it? Um, Did you hear about it? No, not really. I, I heard a little something, something in the past. Um, I've heard the story through Gloria Velez, mm -hmm. um, and she had told me what happened. Apparently, allegedly, mm -hmm. and I'm not asking you to pick sides, Nasty, I'm just asking, <laughs> no. what are your thoughts on it? Uh, the word is that Gloria got into a fight with Remy Ma, mm -hmm. and Gloria won the fight. He was in a club in New York. Really? City. Yeah. Man, Remy Ma, a gangster. Well, we all know. <laughs> she did a nice little bit. <laughs> yeah, she's the real, real. Um... I'm not gonna ask you who you think won. Because <laughs> I know you're a terror squad. We love Fat Joe, but I'm terror squad too. It's just, you know, we're talking about what's going on. Um, it's gonna be interesting. Shout out to Gloria. Uh, she's gonna be doing her own podcast. Okay. And she says she's gonna talk about what happened. Oh, really? It'd be nice to hear both sides, but I think Remy Ma is just like, yeah, oh, that didn't ever happen. <laughs> you know, sweeping under the rug. I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, you gonna stay quiet like a oh oh about oh okay I get it I get what you mean yeah so uh, we'll have to find out and hear uh, stories what else has been trending um, there was a big one that was trending non consensual 
condom <laughs> removal while having oh, sex. Yeah. You a pro at that. <laughs> From what you've told me in your life, you are the pull-out king. <laughs> you told me you the pull-out king. I, I, that's amazing. When the pull-out king comes with something else, that means the, the no condom king. <laughs> nah, I ain't mean like that, man. Uh -huh. I'm talking about with the Joker on. Uh, yeah. The pull-out king. Oh, you know? yeah. All right, all right. I got you, Dusty. Um, so, yeah, there's a big situation going on in California where they signed a law now. Um, in the middle of having sex, you cannot just pull your condom off without um, the other person's consent. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a tricky situation. I, it's, How do you that's prove not that? Gonna work. Yeah, How do you prove that in work. court, right? How do you prove that in How court? How many times court? back in the days has a girl told you to take that condom off, daddy? Uh, All the time. <laughs> <laughs> nah, and you probably did too. Nah, because, nah. Like, of course, you want nah. that sensation. That, I know what it is. <laughs> Listen, man, I, I made it this long <laughs> with no kids. <laughs> now I got kids. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, like, what's going to be funny, or not funny, but what's going to be the, the difficult situation is if it ever goes to court, like, how do you prove that like you can't prove it bro it's like crazy that she said that take it off yeah and she who's the big it? dummy that came up with this law like are you crazy that's a crazy bill to have bro like so if a girl ever asked you that what do you when, when she's asked you that what'd you say i'll take it off <laughs> no, i'm <laughs> like roll nah. that sucker right off huh? <laughs> Like, I've been waiting for you to say this, we got <laughs> Back in the day, I'd be like, nah, hell no, nah, I ain't with that. Uh-uh. Have, have you ever had a female say, come inside me? <laughs> hell no. Oh, uh, me neither, me neither. <laughs> oh, yeah, all right, I don't believe that. All right, we'll leave that subject uh, alone. You probably rolled the dice on that, too, man. But, um, man. Hey, no comment over here. <laughs> yeah, but if you're in California and you have sex, don't pull the condom off because you will get in trouble without permission. Go to jail for it, bro. God. Uh, who else has been trending? R. Kelly has been trending. He had been found guilty for all his charges. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to try to fight that. Right. But what's crazy is Akon has always been the guy that kind of goes left yeah, with his situation. Mind his own business. You don't get into people's situation yeah yeah he just he, he respects them for their creativity yeah their creativity when mm -hmm. six nine was having that whole situation everybody yeah. was canceling him he was one of the first ones to work with six nine yep. now he's saying that r kelly's gonna be able to bounce back from this <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be able to our, oh, akon man. is gone on record and saying hey listen he's on his road to redemption he'll be okay <laughs> God. do you agree I I don't see it, man. I, maybe he's seen something I don't see, you know? I will tell you this. You know, I, I in my head, I was like, yo, the student's canceled. Yeah. It's done. I had a few drinks the other night. <laughs> um, I went into not my party, a different party. Um, and they were known for having R&B for the last hour. Mm -hmm. Typically, it's, you know, the last couple songs. Yeah. The, the dude played, I'm not going to mention the name, the dude played the R. Kelly set that was <laughs> fucking phenomenal. Oh, no, <laughs> let's not get it twisted. R. Kelly's music is timeless and amazing. Like, it, hopefully we don't cancel his creativity, his art artistry. Like, his music is amazing. We shouldn't do that. Like, Well, YouTube has canceled it. Oh, yeah, you can't, you can't listen to his music no more on YouTube. Wow. Yeah, they, they pulled that off. Uh, a lot of DJs... Do you play R. Kelly? Um, in cl <laughs> behind closed doors, yeah. <laughs> I ain't played them in public. Hell no, nah, I ain't trying to get canceled. It's, yeah. It's sensitive out there. Well, um, you know, some DJs are still playing it, and it was ringing off in the club. I can't even act like I wasn't. I, I caught myself. Dancing to it. Yeah. I <laughs> caught Bumping myself. And grinding. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I was vibing. I had a drink, and, I, and I, then I realized, I said, oh shit, this is R. Kelly, yo. Yeah. Hold on, let me stand still on this bitch. Like, yeah. you know? So, well, what I'm hearing is word on the street is that Kelly might start snitching on people. Oh, yeah. Other, you know, artists and people oh, that wow. might have been part of his little cult thing he got had going on. So there's some people at home shaking in their boots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. He's going right <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Wow. We'll see. Uh, yeah. What else we got going on? Um, we got Superman... Drake versus MJ. Drake. 
was a big topic on yeah. Twitter. I know. I don't like that, man. I don't like that, man. Because they're both legends, and they're both amazing at what they do, and they're both from different genres. They shouldn't even be compared. You know what I'm saying? Yes, they both do black music, but Drake is Drake, and Michael Jackson is Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson lived during an era that what he did cannot never be done be again. I'm just... I don't even see, like, listen, Drake is a phenomenal artist. Of course. The greatest during our time right now, right? But Better than Beyonce? <sighs> Better than Jay-Z? See, now, now those kind of conversations go into okay. what you, you really like. I think, he's, I think he's done, I think he's done very well. Better than Beyonce? But see, when you talk about Beyonce and Jay-Z, you also talk about their <laughs> business ventures. Um, Jay-Z hasn't really dropped any music as of lately, right? No. You know, we all know him for selling the Ace of Spades, the the streaming platform that he has. Yeah, like all those kind of things have put him in another category right. where we look at him as an entrepreneur and say, "Yo, he's the biggest in the game." I mean, the man's done <laughs> what over ten albums. Like he, I'm sure he's. I'm saying, but this time, like right now, in the last, let's just say the last ten years, right. where where he uh, the four 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 joint. Yeah, yeah I, I can't think of anything else off the top. Of I'm my just head. saying, as an artist. Once you've done so much as an artist, you want to take a back seat and get into other things. Yeah. You're not in this game to be a rapper for the Forever. rest of your life. Got you know what I'm saying? Sense. And Drake is still coming up, but he's come up so fast and broken so many records. But he still hasn't got the amount of catalog that Jay Z has has. You know got what I'm saying? So when he gets to that point, that Jay, then we can start comparing and be like, damn, you know what? But I think they 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 skipped right over. You know, Jay Z and Beyonce. That should have been a conversation that is more realistic. Beyonce, they should than to yeah. go straight Jay to Michael Jackson. Yeah, no, it should have been Beyonce and Michael Jackson because they both are dancers. They entertain. They have a vision like no other. They sell out stadiums. Like, does Chris Brown still have a chance to be in that top three with them? Unfortunately, Chris Brown went through a tough situation, and um. They they're not gonna put them in that that light, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They can compare Mike and Chris, you know what I'm saying? You know, Chris has a lot of talent when it comes to, you know, being able to do the things that Michael did. But they, you know, unfortunately, Chris Brown's not gonna be our super super pop icon just because there's people out there that's gonna hold him back. Got it. Sensitive. Yeah. So ultimately, Drake or Michael Jackson for you. I love them both. Oh, come you on. That. Who, who <laughs> Drake, you? Michael Jackson. Yeah. 1,000%. Uh, yeah, and Michael Jackson, uh, you know, Michael Jackson used to have people across the world singing his songs. Not even that, like... People fainting. Yeah, like you... Crying. Like people, like, yeah, exactly. Yo, like, like that's a whole nother feeling. I haven't cried for anybody. I you definitely know, cried when what? Michael Jackson died. No, I'm saying like oh. at a show. You oh, know what yeah. Saying? You could see like footage of people in China freaking crying yeah. like that was you know what I'm saying the one thing that I always said like when I had coming to some money my bucket list was to buy front row seats oh, to man. Michael Jackson's concert you waited a little too late for that one well, I, I waited <laughs> I didn't wait <laughs> the money didn't come to later <laughs> on God, um, but yeah that was before and then uh, he went on tour and I was getting yeah. ready to buy I didn't care if it was gonna be like three grand I just wanted to be like there, like that's what I wanted, no. and when he passed away, I was like, "Wow, I'll never no, be man. able to have that." Same with life. me; I never experienced that. But there was two icons that I wanted to always see: Michael Jackson and Prince. I never got to see Michael Jackson. I did end up seeing Prince at a jo Michael Jordan NBA All Star I was there. party. Oh, and you I, was there with me? I regret. Oh, you was there that weekend. I regret. <laughs> you staying by yourself, by myself, the whole the whole the team, <laughs> the whole team left. left. And you were like, yo, I'm staying to see Prince. And yeah. I'm like, bro, there's another party over there. <laughs> I'm out. Like, you and Prince can have the fucking time of your life. We go, I forgot who was performing oh, or whatever yeah. it was. And we yeah. left. I, and I stayed there. Yeah. Die Hard fan. Love Prince. And I got to see him, like, from here with a camera. You know what I'm saying? That was yeah. unbelievable. Did he sweat on you? I wish he did, but he didn't, bro. <laughs> All right, well, I'm glad you got to see that. I missed that one. I, I, I would have really, really enjoyed to see um, Michael Jackson. And I do I tell you now, I don't think I've ever told you, I regret not staying to see Prince yeah. 
The uh, liquor was flowing through your body, so I get it. You know what I'm saying? You wanted to go see some ass and titties, <laughs> dancing and all that. Yeah, I get that it. That sounds like a lot of fun there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got timeless memories. Uh, what else have been trending? One of the ones that I saw that you were totally heartbroken. Uh, Dollar Tree will be selling stuff more. <laughs> 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 this guy was fucking oh my butt God. hurt. <laughs> He's like, yo, we go, I go there all the time. I go there all the time. This hey, is outrageous. Hey, dollar toothbrush, dollar brushes, man, dollar Colgate. Man, let me tell you something. That dollar goes a long way, especially during the pandemic and all this we went through. You know what I'm saying? That's hilarious. I just can't believe, yo, how you going to call yourself Dollar Tree and now you might be selling it for a dollar fifty? Man, you crazy? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> nah, I ain't okay, shit. Alright, so um, I think that pretty much wraps it up for this week. There's right. things that have been trending. Don't forget, okay. man. Uh, like, subscribe, mm-hmm. talking, nasty with Ricky. Your Instagram? At DJ Nasty. At Ricky Badia. We'll be downtown. Um, nasty, you got a lot going on. You'll be in Miami. Oh, yeah, I'll be yeah. in Miami. I'll be at the Swan, uh, DJing out there. Got it. And then um, you will be. It will be Wednesday Eve, Saturday Celine, mm-hmm. Sunday Eden. Highlight of downtown. More okay. talking with Nasty and Ricky coming up. No, talking nasty with Ricky. That's what I said. No, you said talking. No, that's Ricky. what I said. You said something crazy. 